Guys, I gotta tell you something. With a with a heavy heart, I'm I'm happy to tell you I'm gonna teach you how to do that. What's going on guys? I'm Rob Pie and today I have a new video for you. It's supposed to be done at the beginning of the week, but it's the end of the week, so sorry. <laughs> Uh, this one's actually gonna be a really quick, like, simple tutorial. I saw a video, like, pop up on, like, recommendations on the homepage on YouTube, and it was, um, how to get water droplets on your screen, and the video was 25 minutes long, so I watched it, and it was just, a like, an After Effects tutorial on how to do it in, like, 25 minutes if you're fast or something like that. I forget who made it, but then I looked up, you know, like, water droplet tutorial, and everything I was seeing was in, like, uh, After Effects or Motion or something like that, and I was like, wait, you can just do it in Final Cut in, like, two minutes. Less than that, actually. So today, just a quick tutorial on how to show you how to do it real quick and make it a little fancy as some music and sound effects, you know what I'm saying? So let's hop into Final Cut, and let's get... Let's get the tutorial started. So once you're in Final Cut, as you can see here, I have my clip and then I have some music and sound effects. We'll get to those later. First, what we wanna do is drag in the clip. All right, so we have the clip in here. It's all ready to go. Nothing, it's just like a simple clip. It's like nothing fancy, not gonna be any fancy editing. This is all you have to do. So when you're in, um, Final Cut, you'll most likely be on all video and audio effects if you are, um, if you have the effects window open. All you have to do is go down to distortion and then scroll down to water pane, drag it on your clip, and boom, <laughs> you have water droplets on your screen. And if you want, you can just go to the video settings where the, the editing is. Uh, you can change the tint, so if you don't want it blue, you can just drop it down to zero and you'll still get the the water droplets going down the screen. So if we play it real quick, you'll see it's actually like water running down the screen. So it's really simple to do. It's not, it doesn't, it's not worth a, it's not worth a 25 minute tutorial, especially if you're using Final Cut Pro really simple took me like a second to drag it on there and you got the effect but i'm gonna try to make it a little more appealing and let's add some music so we got some music going on here just so it's not loud i'm gonna drag it down to make it a little more quiet so if we play this So, gotta add, if you add some music, you add some some feeling to the clip you're trying to portray, some emotion, get that emotion in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, for more effects, I have this like rain sound that I'm also, it's really loud, so I'm gonna drag it down to even probably quieter. So now you have music layered with rain and it'll sound something like this. So <laughs> that's all that's really to it. You can obviously go into the water pane uh, effect settings and change everything to how you like it. You can change like the hardness, how it looks, if it looks uh, more like water or realistic, if that makes some sense. So that's all that was really to it. It's really simple. Definitely not worth watching a 25 minute. Obviously it would look better if you did it in like motion or after effects but i mean apple is giving you an effect template for a water pane that you can instantly have instead of spending 25 30 minutes probably an hour if you're new in after effects or motion so yeah there's the uh, tutorial try to make it really quick for you uh i hope you enjoyed like the video if you liked it subscribe if you're new comment down below what you'd like to see next and i'll see you in the next video peace